Hi guys, it's Kath. Today I'll be showing you how to make this super easy miniature couch. I finished it in this blue texture fabric, but feel free to use whatever color or pattern you like. Let's get started. For the frame of this couch, I'll be using quarter inch thick poster board. You can also use cardboard. Before we make any cuts, I'm replacing the blade of my craft knife because I want a really clean cut. Cut out a six and a quarter by two and a half inch rectangle. This will be the base for our couch. Look how clean those edges are. Make two of these and double them up using regular white paper glue. Now this piece is half an inch thick. In addition to the base, cut out a two and a quarter by six and a quarter inch rectangle for the back and two two inch by three inch rectangles for the sides. Make sure that they're all doubled up. Let me show you how these will come together. With the biggest rectangle as your base and the second biggest as the back, add the two smaller pieces for the side armrest. You can glue these pieces together now for a more rigid structure, but I'm going for an easier method. To upholster these pieces, I'll be using cotton batting, this blue fabric, and some no-sew fabric glue. I'll upholster the base piece first. Cut a piece of batting that leaves at least 2 inches on each side. Cut a piece bigger than you think you'll need because you can always cut the excess down. Brush the fabric glue to one side of the poster board. This bottle has a nozzle, but using a brush is so much easier. Once you have it covered in glue, push the piece onto the batting with the glue side down. Then add glue to the long sides and fold that over. Here I'm cutting down the excess batting because I only need enough to cover the exposed poster board. Once that's dry, make a cut of the two back corners and cut that flap off. Then make a cut of the other two corners so you end up with three flaps. Shorten the two thinner flaps. Now glue all of them down. Press firmly for a secure hold. Once that's dry, simply trim off the excess batting. Do the same for the other side. And here's what it should look like. Do this for the other three pieces. Now let's cover them with fabric. Cut a piece of fabric that's at least two inches longer than your piece on each side. Place the piece in the middle of the fabric. Add fabric glue and fold the long sides over. For the shorter sides, push in the fabric on a narrow end so you form these triangular shapes. Cut the majority of the front triangle off. This removes a lot of the bulky fabric. Now you can just pull the back flap over to create these straight corner seams. Just push in the side edge and pull the flap over. It's really easy and this is what you end up with. Go ahead and cover all four pieces. Then just to clean up this messy looking bag, I cut another piece of fabric that's a quarter inch to a half an inch longer on each side than the upholstered piece. Fold in the edges and iron it flat. This is what you're looking for. Then simply glue this panel to the back of your piece. That looks so much better. Do this to the two smaller side pieces as well. Look how much neater the panels make them look. Now we can start putting all these pieces together. Place your base down first ensuring that the side with the extra panel is facing down. Then take your back piece and position it with the messy side facing you. Then position your armrest in place with the panel side facing inward. This is really taking shape. To glue them together, I just spread some fabric glue on each joint and press the pieces together. Again, you can always glue the poster board pieces together before upholstering, but I find this method so much easier and it still creates a very strong bond. Now let's make some seat cushions. We cut out two two and a quarter by two and three fourths inch pieces from poster board. Make sure they're doubled up. Then cover them with batting using the same process as before. Because seat cushions need to be a little bit softer, I just cut an extra piece of batting that's 6 and 3 fourths by 2 and 3 fourths inches long. Simply fold it up into thirds and glue it to the top of the cushion. Upholster are using the same method as the rest of the couch. Do this with both seat cushions. Once they are done, simply place them on the couch. I chose to glue all these pieces in place, but you don't have to. Almost there guys, just a few steps left. Now let's make the back cushions. I cut out two one and a half by two and three fourths inch rectangles from poster board. Don't double these up, we want them to be thin. Wrap them in batting using the same method as before. However, this time I cut an extra eight inch by one and a quarter inch strip batting and wrap it around the cushion. This will make the back cushion extra fluffy. Now simply cover your fabric and you're done. Do this for both pieces. Now just add them to the couch. This looks pretty good already, but I'm going to add some legs for a more modern look. For that, I take some square dowels. The ones I'm using are a quarter inch thick. Cut out a 7 and a quarter inch length using a miter hand saw. Make two of these. Also cut out two 2 2.5 inch lengths and four 1 inch lengths. Form the longer pieces into a rectangle. I just use wig glue to adhere them together. Then add a 1 inch piece to each inner corner for the legs. Super easy. To give it some color, I use a stain made up of brown paint and water. Cover the entire piece. 
you don't need to paint the top because that's where we will glue it to the fabric. Now just add some glue and position the couch right on top of it. And that's it guys, your mini couch is all complete. Just add some cute accent pillows and your couch will look perfect. Super cute project that's completely customizable in any color and style. This couch is the perfect addition to any dollhouse and I really hope you like it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye!